don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. What up, SA? What's the problem? Problem? I just killed a Mexican and now I found a Mexican. Now I have a Mexican hand on. There is a problem for me, but not for you. All right. I ain't got time. For no, well, no, wait. Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many wounds. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot. Yeah, that guy ain't coming back, if I. Tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese. Who you doing? In search of the legendary Tokushima. The Jamaican guy. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. Yeah. You see this map here? It was made he by the Jack and the Gang. They robbed yeah. banks all the way from here he to California. Yeah, I don't know who the Jack Hall is. Oh, them you have heard of. But me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it. How come you keep picking these weird ass guys, though? To do coyotes with. No, we ain't be giving me mob calls. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe you need to yes. listen to what he was saying before you joined up. Now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of. <laughs> he is weird. If, uh... <laughs> he said you was a little slow. He said you slow in the head. <laughs> I just bought a treasure map for ten, ten dollars off a of, off a of fucking Mexican. You have discovered a research map. Open your satchel to look at the map and solve the clues and find the treasure. <laughs> I need to stop killing and get my money back. I see him. He's running down the road right now. He knows it's happening. Excuse me, S.A. Hey, hey, hey. S.A. is down. I need that fucking $10 you owe me, homie. Thank you. Thank you for the $10.60. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's crazy. So I got the map and the $10. That's crazy. I love it, though. to switch the same call, my same call for them to be able to trans, to translate my phone. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. So they can do all the phone, right? Yeah, they, you'll need your old phone there with, like, the numbers and shit. Because they'll have to verify if it's really you and all that bullshit. They'll be like, what's the serial number on your phone? Because they'll already have it. And, yeah, read it on the back of it. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Sorry, I do that. He's finished. Yeah, you could already have that bitch hooked up. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Let me look it up real quick. Make sure. You got T-Mobile, right? Yeah. Let me look it up. With T-Mobile, if I got me a new phone and I'm wanting to activate it, do I have to call or go to their store to activate it, or can I just call online or call?
It says to activate the, the new phone, insert the SIMS card into your phone while powered off. Turn on your phone and follow the prompts on your screen to log into your T-Mobile account. After you've done that, you may have also to call T-Mobile and request that they repair your, uh, your uh, phone or your SIMS with your phone number. How to activate me. Um, one or two. Yep. Normally when you have to go to the store, it normally costs us money. You have to drive up there, gas money and shit. Get your hands off him. Say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. Just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. Huh? What have you done with your butt? It appears to like this place. And what's the stay? Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. <sighs> Oh yeah, hit him on new ride, okay? Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, oh no, you don't. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard. Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, <coughs> I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... Damn, that preacher is drunk as fuck. <laughs> Who knew they was going to have to spend all day fucking take care of a preacher? I didn't. I'm just a good old boy, stowing my reverend on my horse, because he's drunk as fuck, almost got hit by a train, and now I'm gonna give him a ride home. That's an American. Yeah, Russia uh, said they ain't haven't even started. In the war of Ukraine, they said they even fired. They're really their first shot, even though losing over fifty percent of their tank crews. 
they was seeing 1970 model tanks that was kind of upgraded. Now they're starting to see 1960s tanks because they're running out of 1971 models. They losing so much equipment, it's crazy over. They're kind of pissed at Iran right now because Iran won't hurry up with the shipment of drones. Iran is supposed to give Russia a bunch of drones. America stopped it real fucking quick. Stop anything. Like, it's kind of crazy. Like, oh yeah, Iran's wanting to give hundreds of drones to, uh, uh, to Russia for Ukraine war. So America heard about that. They called up Iran and said, hey, don't do that. We told them the other day that we'll have we'll use military force if they if they make us for Iran. Might be going to war with Iran here soon. I always said we need to go in there and own that bitch. Iran is what what started all this shit from Afghanistan. That and Saudi Arabia. They're the one who's fucking shot the fucking twin towers down. But because they give us millions of dollars, of, oh, it's alright for 2,000 people, Americans, to die. Salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. It's coming at you. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. 